Chapter 37 Git Stash Earlier, in Chapter 12, we learned that there are three areas to keep in mind when working with Git. The index or DAG, the staging area, and the working directory, in other words, the files on our disk. Since you're a bit of a Git pro by now, it's probably time to let you know that there's a fourth area where you can put things called the stash. The stash is like a little pocket dimension where you can temporarily put what you're currently working on. It's implemented like a stack, so you can push several states to it. This comes in handy when you're working on something and you have a bunch of staged files or local changes and now you suddenly have to switch to a different branch to work on some urgent bug fix, for example. The problem is that you're probably not ready to commit your current work because it's sort of halfway finished. In a scenario like this, you can use git stash to bundle up your work in progress and put it on the stash, which is a stack-like structure that you can push data to. When you run git stash, it has the same effect as running git stash push. In other words, push is the default behavior. Here too, git is merely recycling the things it does well. When you run this command, git will essentially add your changes to a commit object, but it won't actually commit anything, but instead push the commit object on the stash stack. After doing this, it will ensure that your working directory is clean again, in other words, in sync with head. If, at any moment, potentially after head points to a new commit, you want to reapply these changes, you can do so with git stash apply. To see the different entries on the stash stack, you can run git stash list. You will notice that, by default, git will use the commit message of wherever head is pointing to to identify this entry in the stash stack. If you would rather specify your own message, you can do so with the minus "-m", switch. For example, git stash push, minus "-m", and then between quotes, halfway through working on the scroll bug. It's an example. The git stash command provides a handy little storage area where you can put your half-finished work when you have to switch from one task to another in git. You can learn more by running git stash dash dash help.